Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a video with some tips on how to read more and maybe get through some more books this year. So this video is for the beginners, the ones who don't really have the time to read, and the ones who start books and never seem to be able to finish them. That was who I was a couple years ago. I would start a lot of books and never finish them and it was very frustrating. Until one year I decided to incorporate some habits to make reading more of a daily occurrence and it really has helped and I think that is worth sharing with everyone because I've gone from never being able to finish a book to reading six books a year and then last year I read 15 books and now this year my goal is 24. The habits that I'm doing are working and I thought maybe it'd be good to share with everyone. Alright, so the first tip that I have or the first habit that I incorporated into my life was to force myself to read 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night. This is pretty typical advice that you'll hear a lot of people saying, you know, read in the morning and at night and you'll read more. The reason why reading 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night works so well is not because necessarily those 10 minutes are getting you through the book, but you're making sure that you are reading every day so that book is fresh in your mind and the next time you pick it up, you're not lost, you're not confused, you're, you still want to read it, you know? You still understand what's going on, you remember what was previously said, and you don't feel like you have to start over, or it's been too long and I'm just not going to finish it. You don't get those thoughts because you are constantly reading it. So that is key. That was the one that I was hardest on for myself. I ensured that I read every morning and every night. And I understand that's not necessarily practical for everyone, so even picking one of those would be a good way to start. Even if you literally read one page at night or one page in the morning, that's good enough because it's not really about how much you're getting through in these reading sessions. Just making sure that you are reading something every single day, even if it is a small amount, just to keep that book fresh. So the next tip that I made sure to incorporate when I was trying to read more was to actually bring the book literally everywhere I went. Like, if I'm leaving the house, that book that I'm currently reading is coming with me. You actually find that you have a lot more time to read than you think you do. So whether that's when you're waiting for a doctor's appointment or you're waiting to meet a friend or you just, you find that there's a lot more moments of time throughout your day that you are kind of just waiting around. And if you fill that with reading your book, it's again the same idea of, you know, making sure it's constantly fresh in your mind that you are reading this book. And the more you read it in these little increments, the more you're likely to sit down for an hour or two and actually put some time into reading the book. I bring my books everywhere. I always have my book in my purse. If I forget it ever, I do kind of get frustrated with myself even. Bringing it with you everywhere is a really good habit to get into. You'll find that you end up reading it a lot more than you thought you would. So the third tip is actually to bring the book into the bathroom with you. People obviously used to do this and it was pretty common, but now a lot of people have gotten into the habit of bringing their phones into the bathroom and that's some prime book reading time. So once I realized this, I started to do it. I find that if I bring my book and my phone into the bathroom, I still kind of end up on my phone. So I have this little rule that I just recently started to do where I only bring the book and I don't bring my phone at all. I find that it's really encouraging actually to do these little increments throughout the day because you're not actually dedicating that much time to the book but it feels like you're accomplishing your goal of reading more and it's really motivating to just continue to read. Another habit that I've actually just started to incorporate this year is finding a specific spot to dedicate to your reading whether that's a specific reading chair or a room or an area on the couch, like a certain spot that you go to when you read, it really helps you to kind of get in the mindset to read. It's similar to what they say about studying, studying in the same place, in the same environment, it, it helps you to get into that mindset and you end up performing better. It's kind of the same thing with reading, I find. I end up getting more into the reading zone when I'm in my reading space. And I think it's really important to make sure that your reading space is not your bed because you want to associate your bed with just sleeping so you get the best sleep and you're not thinking about all these other things while in your bed. You want your reading space to be completely separate from your bed. It could be in your bedroom still. Mine is. My reading chair is right near my bed but I still have them as separate things so I can be in my reading mindset while I'm in my reading chair and really get into the mood and it makes me want to read while I'm in that reading chair 
versus my bed where I used to read. Um, I don't associate that with reading anymore. I keep that very separate. Whenever I go near my reading chair, I'm like, oh, I just, I just want to start reading again, or I just want to get into that book. So having a separate area is really nice, and I've really been enjoying it, and I highly recommend. So the last tip I have for you actually is to use an app called Goodreads. I used it right from the start. This app has changed my reading game. It is so good to use, and it is so motivating, and it keeps you on track. You can set a goal at the beginning of the year for how many books you want to read and you can view your progress and see how far along you are in that journey. You can also view your progress of each book while you're reading. If you just enter in the page numbers that you're on, it'll tell you, oh, you're 30% into your book or you have 15% of your book left. And that little number motivates you so much. At least it motivates me. I'm a goal setting type of person. And if you are too, you will definitely love Goodreads. And of course you want to enjoy the book while you're reading it. You don't want to just rush through it. But that little motivator does help. And the other good thing about Goodreads is that it's actually kind of a social app. So you can find your friends on there, you can connect with people. I'll put my Goodreads link in the description below and we can become friends on there as well. And then you can see what books other people are reading or what books they're interested in. And you can add those books to your list of ones that you want to read in the future. It really just expands your reading knowledge and helps you to find books that you would be interested in. So if you're going to take any of the tips from this video, definitely get on Goodreads. That's your first step and then you'll be able to incorporate the other habits into your daily life. Thanks everyone for listening. I hope that these tips do help a little bit in your reading journey. I know that it's hard sometimes to find the time to read, but if you just do it in little bits at a time, you will get through your book and you will be able to read more. Let me know in the comments below what book you're reading right now or what book you want to read next so that we can all expand our reading list and find some new books. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really does mean a lot and I am excited to bring you some new videos soon. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.